Hey guys, this is Mrs. Foy, and today I'm going to show you my guaranteed rules for how to focus on a microscope. And so hopefully you'll find this helpful and you won't be embarrassed sometime when you can't focus something under a microscope or worse yet, break the microscope. So, so um, the microscope that I'm showing you now is actually a nice microscope. It's um, it's what we um, it's, it's a binoc microscope, so it actually you can adjust the eyepieces to fit your eye. Um, but the first thing you're going to do when you get a microscope is you are going to uh, plug it in. All right, so you're going to plug it in and turn on the light, which is usually in the back, and um, then you're going to notice that there are. Um, the objectives, right? So these little sil cylinder things are the objectives. And um, usually there are four on a microscope. So the shortest one is the low power and then the medium power and then the high power. And then usually there's one that says 100X on it. And it, normally it has a white band or a white objective. That's what we call the oil immersion lens. You need special oil to make that work. So um, we're not going to use that today, and it's not good for the microscope to use that unless you have that special oil. So unless your teacher tells you, you're just going to be using the, the first three objectives. The shortest objective is actually usually a 4x objective. The eyepiece itself is 10x. So if you are looking through low power, you take the 10x times the 4x, and that's 40x. So if you're looking at something under this uh, magnification, it is actually 40 times magnified. The 10x times 10 would be 100x, and then the uh, the largest objective, the high power, is 40x times 10 would be 400 is the magnification. Now, this particular microscope that I'm using here is also nice and fancy because it has a mechanical stage. And so when you put your slide on the stage, and I guess actually right here I'll just make a real quick, quick little... Um, detour and talk for just a minute about making something called a wet mount slide. So uh, to make a wet mount slide, all you have to do is take your specimen, so I could just take a hair, and put it on the slide, and then you add a drop of water on your slide, on your specimen, and then you take a cover slip, and usually at a 45 degree angle, you're going to lower that, and that makes your wet mount slide. So my specimen is on here now. So what you're going to do is you're going to actually take um, the microscope, and if it has a mechanical stage, which is what this one has, you're going to place it in the clip like this. So um, other less expensive microscopes don't have a mechanical stage, but this one does. And then if it does have a mechanical stage, you see that it has a little knob here, and you can see that it's turning the microscope, the, excuse me, moving the stage left and right and up and down. So you want to position your specimen so it's right over the hole where the light comes. So notice in all these rules, I haven't looked through the microscope yet, and so this is, this is good. You don't want to do this yet. So now you want to rotate the objective to the lowest power, and now I have to show you one other the piece on the microscope. So um, we have a coarse adjustment and a fine adjustment knob. The big knob, and sometimes these are actually on the same knob, the big knob is the coarse adjustment, and the smaller knob is the fine adjustment. Sometimes they're actually on different places on the microscope. And you notice what happens when I move the coarse adjustment. Can you guys see the stage of the microscope going up and down? So what I want you to do, what are my rules is, I want you to move the coarse adjustment to move the stage up until it will not go any further. You don't want to force it, but just move it up till it won't go any further. So now, I have my light turned on, I have my slide uh, positioned on my stage, I have my um, uh, objective on low power, now I'm going to look through the microscope. So, you're going to adjust the eyepiece if it's a binocular scope, and so you can see um, carefully or comfortably through it. And then I can only go down, right? I can't go up, I can only go down. So I'm just going to move this until I see an image that is clear. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my fine adjustment to get it very crystal clear. Now at this point it is focused on low power. At this point your teacher may want you to make a sketch of what you see. But usually you're going to want to go up on medium power. So at this point, these microscopes, modern microscopes, are made so that 
If it is focused on the low power, you can rotate to the next highest power and it will not hit. And that's a good thing. Um, so if you rotate, if it is focused under the low power, then you can rotate it now to medium power. Now at this point, there is tiny little space between the bottom of the objective and the slide. And at this point, you can use just a little bit of your course adjustment and your fine adjustment to get it nice and perfectly focused. If a science teacher looks at a student just going like this with the um, focus, we know that you know that you're not looking at the right thing and that can break the microscope and it's really expensive to fix. So please don't do that. If you lose your what you were looking at, um, you might want to move the, uh, the stage just a little bit because maybe you actually uh, focused in on a space that was, um, that was empty of the specimen. But at this point, you should be able to focus and get it nice and clear. So now you're going to go up to high power. Now this is where you got to really pay attention because um, at this point, if you are focused under medium power, you can rotate to the high power objective and it will not hit. It's going to look like it's going to hit, but it is not going to hit um, if it is focused under medium power. So at this point, you can safely rotate it to high power. Now, when you look through under high power, you actually have less than a millimeter between the objective and the slide. This is where you are just going to use your fine adjustment. You don't want to use a coarse adjustment. If you try to move that, then what will happen is, is that you will probably hear this sickening crack. And what that means is that you have rammed the objective into the slide. Best case scenario, you've just broken the slide. Worst case scenario, you have broken the objective, which is several hundred dollars to replace that. So definitely want to know what you're doing with the microscope. Now at this point, if I just focus this under high power, I might need to adjust the light a little bit. And underneath the stage, you will see um, either a little lever or sometimes there's a little knob that you can turn here that adjusts the amount of light. Some students think they need a lot of light to be able to see well. And actually, in fact, sometimes having a little less light actually makes you see it more clearly. If you happen to move to the high power and you just don't see anything, do not try to focus if you've lost the image. So just simply go back to low power, find it again, and start the process over. And that is my no-fail rules for focusing under a microscope, and I hope that's been helpful, and I'll see you in class.